bubble cut. She's got a really small head. I don't know what year these are from, but this belongs to my friend Linda. This one has a really cute small head. I love her skin coloring. It's beautiful, beautiful skin coloring. But there's the problem. She has her head. It is split all the way up there. And I can see where someone tried to repair it. But the topic of this video is how to fix this. Many people who are Barbie collectors, they find Barbie dolls and the necks are split like this. First thing you do is remember one thing. Dolls are made of textiles. So, I'm going to wet Barbie's head. I'm going to dish detergent. A little on. Yeah, putting it on her head. I'm taking a little toothbrush. I'm scrubbing. You want to remove any dirt and oil. Do not worry. This is not going to damage your doll any worse than what she already is. But it's going to clean many years of dirt and germs and bacteria. Anything that can be on her, it'll clean it off. So don't worry. I mean, you know, she's got split knit. What else more or worse could she possibly have? So I'm scrubbing really, really hard. I'm going to zoom in. Oh, that looks good. Hey, Crystal. Oh, girl, you really are a bless your heart. Working on a vintage party. I want to get clean right here where the split neck, neck is. So I'm working on the back with Dawn dish detergent. It removes any kind of oils and things like that. I'm going to be using Gorilla Glue, the gel. This is the type of video I've been wanting to do for a while. I'm also repairing a Peaches and Cream Barbie from the manufacturer. What they did was they took the Peaches and Cream Barbie. I got off eBay. Very cute size. Okay. Now I'm shaking all of the water out of her head as much as possible. And now here's her close up. She came out very nice and clean, pretty matte finish. She did not mess up her eyebrows at all. They're still original. Toothbrush, Dom Lucy detergent. Gets her super clean. She has no green ear. That's always a plus. That's a good thing to do when you get your vintage Barbies. Now, my Beaches and Cream Barbie, I got off of eBay in very good condition. I did use a purple masking shampoo, I mean conditioner mask, and let it set to remove yellow brassy tones out of her hair to make it more of a slightly better. Well, I'm trying to get, the, to get downstairs. So yeah, I did purple mask on her hair for about 15, 20 minutes. So, Peaches and Cream Barbie's face looks absolutely gorgeous. Guess what? There's her earring hole here, but look what they did. Manufacturer put her other earring hole behind her ear. So, I'm going to shrink this hole with hot water. To do that, I'm taking Mama Joyce's coffee cup. She's going downstairs. She does not know I'm doing this. But... Um, now I'm going to okay. They didn't, I'm gonna have to give her a new hole in her ear, but we are going to show you again. There's the hole. They put her earring behind her ear, not where it goes. So I'm gonna try to shrink that. So I'm going to hold her this way. I'm putting her head into the hot water. Hot water will shrink holes in your doll's head. And when the neck is pushed all the way down and that's really big, hot water will make it shrink back up. So you can put it into a um on, on a different body if you get a doll with a broken Barbie with a broken neck. It'll do the trick. I I didn't know that this is the first one I got that's ever had that, but her face is really pretty. All right, I'm looking to see if it shrunk. Wow, look at the difference. Look. See how much it shrunk? 
Okay, let's see if we can make it shrink some more. Because this water is hot. I should have just put curls in our hair. <laughs> and gave her some curls. Oops, let me move this up like that. Okay. There. Okay. Let me just go ahead and dump dump the front of our hair in or in the hairline as well. Get the cold water on here. Oh, big difference. Okay. Now, there it is. So, that's why they put her earring. As you can see, I shrunk it with hot water. So I need to make a new hole and make it less noticeable. I can stick a little dot of glue in there, probably from the inside of her head with a Q-tip to make that seal up. So, yeah. But otherwise, her face is gorgeous. She came in her dress. Everything looks new. Now I put this one to the side. I'm going to take the vintage Barbie head. Now that it looks really good and clean. May need to touch up over her eyelids, which I can do that with acrylic paint very easily. And I have the right tools to do it. That will not cause bleeding into Barbie's vinyl. Because this is an original vintage Barbie. We just, she doesn't know where the head is. The only thing is, I may have to wait and do this particular Barbie tomorrow. And do a part two. So the first thing you do is preparations with a little Dawn Dish detergent and a little toothbrush. The body, yeah. Oh, I'll show you. My body looks brand new, yeah. So I guess anxiety issues. She has a really good hairline. So perfect. All right, let me put this in lighting so you can see it really, really good. All right, so let me unshrink this. And what I'm going to do is turn my camera around. There. So. We can repair the black paint for where her vintage eyelids were. We can also touch up her lip to make it look more natural. I have to be very careful. You don't want it to be too big. And we will do the split neck. But for the moment, um, again, also repairing. This here is the one ear that was done correctly. See, her face and hair look amazing. And they pierced her other ear back there. There's that hole it did shrink. Oh, it looks like they may have cut through the ear and pierced it like that. I have to look at that better with my glasses. Okay. So what I've done also on Barbie's body is I took the Gorilla Glue Gel. And I took Barbie's legs, and as you can see, I put some depth on these areas. This will make your 80s Barbie's legs tighter. It doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. Leave it, let it dry. Now, look at her arms up there. See? It looks new. Hi, Jay. Where you been hiding, honey? She's got her original jewelry. Yeah, that's exactly what it's like. Um, if you see up here at the arms, there are no dents. This Peaches and Cream Barbie wasn't really played with. One thing to look forward to if you're buying a used doll is the neck area, era, <laughs> the neck area, to make sure there are no cracks that shouldn't be there. That's always very important. So. Um, her legs, we got these nice and clean. When I get a used doll from eBay, I always make sure I clean the doll in warm water and dish detergent to remove 
any germs, dirt, residue. Yes, I'm very, very funny about those things. Very peculiar. So, um, I'm showing you how she looks in part one with the cleaning. Um, when I do a little restoration on her, because Linda can't find a body, I'm not going to touch the eyebrows, because this is factory made with one eyebrow darker. Are you okay? Yeah. And one eyebrow lighter. I have a question. Oh, I was going to get that. You didn't have to do that. I would have got that tomorrow. Oh, sweet. Dude, isn't it? Isn't it normal for a vintage Barbie to have one eyebrow lighter than the other one? Oh, she's not listening. So I'm going to touch out the paint for the black part. And as I'm looking, you know what? Her lips. That looks very natural. I think her lips were made that way. So she was made. Her lips were made this way. I think that's how she came. Because they have the shape. They don't look worn. I think that's how she was when she was purchased new. Her skin looks amazing. But anyway, I have to wait for this to dry. Because in order for this to really, really work well, that has to be completely dry. Let me look at it. It's easier to look at through my camera. I'm going to go get my glasses. So, um, I don't like to make changes to our vintage Barbie because these are becoming so rare and I think a good restoration that's fine but try to keep it as minimal as possible um I just think vintage Barbie should maintain their regular look if you know what I mean so I'll tell you what I'm gonna flip this give me a moment and I'm gonna set this over to the side set my camera up there and um, I'll be back. I'm going, what was I going to get? Oh, God, I done forgot. Okay, I'm going to use this brush to mess with our hair a little bit here to make it look better. Oh, I was going to get my glasses. Hmm, I forget things that quick. Oh, though, this looks nice. Oh, honey, I feel you. I know how that can be. Oops. <laughs> oh, you know Crystal likes it, Vengeance. By the way, she concedes her songs amazingly. Okay, there we go. Fix her hair. Oh, she's going to look fabulous when I'm done. All right, so I'm going to show you her hair after I've washed, since I've washed it. So this is how we got our hair at the time. You can see how this layered look is. For her, she's beautiful, beautiful coloring. It's more of a restoration. So I'm trying to just do a restoration. I'm not trying to modify her or change her, but repair her. So I'm going to get my glasses to make sure I do that correctly. Yeah. My medication, my blood thinner has made my vision blurry to see things up close. So give me one moment. What are you doing? Stop eating. Okay, I'm back.
Also, I recommend if you have a magnifying glass, use it to really look good to see if this thing, if this, any of these dolls have had glue put on them previously. Okay, so far that looks and feels good. What is that? I think it does have a glue residue. It does. Kind of, it looks like a booger. Oh, you're being superstar, Christy Reproduction. Are you using Saran hair? I have to ask. My face is broke out. Welcome to my world. Mm. I think it's stress. I haven't been able to. I'm not used to having my face break out like this. And it's been this way for a year. You know men will do that to me. Well, not all men, just some of them. Broke out from stress, which y'all know my stress, but I'm working on it. Okay, I want this to be dry. What was that? Is somebody yelling? Oh, yes. What color are you doing? Are you doing it the original colors? Okay, I got that dry, so now I can work on it. I recommend gel because it's not liquefied, so it prevents you from making a mistake. Oh, I'm going to need paper towel. I should have got a... Dixie's just growling at everybody. One thing about the gel is that I'm able to do it without making a mess. So I put it on one side. Now I'm going to press it together like this. And oh Jay, she does. She's on TikTok. No, 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 no. What is that app? You're on a different app. She's doing TikTok in some other app. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, it popped loose. Okay, I can see what's on the inside. You have to look inside the head to be able to make sure that it's sticking on all areas when you're repairing a neck split. The good thing is, is if it works, you're not going to see where the neck split was. It will literally become invisible. What's wrong? Well, somebody has some blue stuff on my towel. Oh, it's just conditioner. I'm, I'm, I'm like a toddler, I'm messy. It's, it's conditioned I'm putting the barbie hair to get rid of the yellow, orangey brassiness. Yeah. No, I think vampires. Okay. Right, come on. Why is this not taking? Should I have waited till tomorrow? Oh, that glue. So apparently this has the previous type of glue residue on there. So if this happens to you, remember, you will have to clean it again. And I'm going to do that with detergent. And I'm going to end up using some acetone while I'm using hand soap right now. Usually this happens a lot quicker. Not really have this problem. So now I'm gonna go get a Q-tip and some acetone.
All right, we'll come back here. Move that. I need my glasses so I can see. I probably should have did this at first. Now this can remove everything here from artificial nails to glitter polish, nail polish, gel polish, nail glue, and more. This is what I use to remove paint. Okay, I'm putting my Q-tip in the acetone. I'm going to come back here. Make sure I clean both sides. This here removes any and all residue from the split neck. As you can see, this is a severe case of it. I'm also cleaning surrounding areas of the neck hole. Any kind of dirt, oil, things like that from hands. Now that my nails are clean, yeah, I can see there's nothing there. Okay, and I'm going to lay this like this overnight. That's what I highly recommend. Okay, close that up. When you have fur babies around, they will make a mess. Now to look at this ear. Ah. Okay, so Barbie's ear did get split when they were putting the earring in. As you can see when I squeeze it, you can see that. So I'm going to take a little dab dab of this and squeeze it in. Okay, now let it close and wipe off any extra. There. Now we got that sealed in. And once it dries tomorrow, I can put in the hole in the right spot for peaches and cream. Until then, we're going to let these set overnight so they can dry. I'm going to turn my camera around. And I'll show you up close that spot. See where I repaired it on peaches and cream and part of her ear. So I can fix that later. Tomorrow, I have to let it dry overnight. Okay, so we've taken the split neck, as you can see. I've cleaned it. The white residue is from the acetone. It has no shine because I re the acetone removed any oils and things like that. And that's how she looks up close. So tomorrow, everything will be good and dry. First, we'll repair the neck splits. Neck split. I mean the neck split. And then after we 
prepare the next split, we will touch up the black that goes over her eyes, and that's it. I'm not going to touch up her lips because that was factory done. She's perfectly shaped lips are just not quite in the right spot, but that's how the factory made them, and I'm leaving them that way. And I'll just touch up the black over her eyelids. <laughs> what way you going to do that? Apparently, well, you have to understand, I've had two, two throat surgeries. So, yeah, those things happen. So, we got our hair washed. It's nice and shiny. It's going over to the side. I do not know what kind of material this is. It's very coarse, hard-filling hair. So we will fix this tomorrow. So there will be a part two. I have to let that dry. Okay. All right. And I'll also leave peaches and cream alone so she can dry as well. Hmm. They gave her too much eye down there. I could fix that. I am going to fix that. Anyway, I used a purple mask on her hair to get rid of some yellow tones, left it in 20, 30 minutes, so it'll be a different color tomorrow. And again, for your 80s Barbies um, with loose legs, you can put glue on them like that in those areas. Not perfect. You just double dots, and when it dries, you can pop the legs back on and they'll be tighter. But anyway, tomorrow the main focus will be repairing the split neck on vintage Barbies. Okay? Again, super glue gel. Gorilla super glue gel. What is she listening to? There's a kitty. Look at that kitty. What are you doing, Skipper? You listen to Shania Twain. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you listen to Shania Twain. Yeah. Man, I feel like a woman. Do, 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 do. That's one of her reborns. Isn't this an adorable little girl? Oh. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please join me for part two, and um, that'll be tomorrow sometime evening. So I'm broke out. I need to get treated. <sighs> ah.